Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from NBA 2K14. Today I'm bringing you a couple more games in our My Career series. First up today is going to be at home against the Charlotte Bobcats. And we jump into this one late in the first quarter, 30 seconds left. Trey Cash going to the hoop with the slam and the and one. If we can finish that one off, we do. So a nice little dunk there for Trey and considering that we won the last game last week against the 76ers we have the rare chance at a win streak here today as we're going to slam this one home as we're down to a minute left in the second quarter not much happening in the first half of this one we're actually for the first time I think all season handling the team fairly well as we're up 16 we're going to look to push that to 18, and Travis Outlaw is going to do so as we go into the half up 18. So now here we are in the third, still double-digit double, double digit lead. So it looks like we got a good chance here of having a win streak, two wins. Solomons is going to hit that three as we pick up the assist. Uh, the Bobcats is just not very good, and that's a lot sane considering how bad the Kings are. Kimba Walker going to pass it up to Kid Gilchrist here. He's going to slam it home. But we do, actually it's not this game, but the next game, Ben McLemore is finally going to return. He has been hurt since I think the first or second week of the season as Jimmer Fredette. That shot does not get old. He shoots that thing so high. As here we are, 30 seconds left in the third. Bobcats, Pargo going to hit a three there, cutting the lead now just to 12. But Isaiah Thomas is going to take this one to hoop, pick up another assist as that goes back to 14, still back to 12. We're in the fourth now. We're going to hit Cousins. Cousins going to lay that one in. But it will be great to get McLemore back. He adds another shooter to the floor, although I don't really know what difference it's going to make. The team is still going to be really bad. So we got our 10th tenth assist there at a social media challenge. I don't remember who on the Bobcats was challenging us, but they didn't think we would get a double-double, but we got it. Uh, but I don't know how much Macklemore is going to make a difference, really. I still think we're going to ask for, the, for a trade at the next opportunity to do so. It's just, I mean, we're dead last in the West. I don't see it getting much better with even Macklemore back. Maybe if we get in the starting lineup and we're able to play more and have a chance to, to uh, help the team out a little more because it seems that they struggle the most when the CPU is in or when Trey is on the bench and the CPU is, is all playing. So maybe that'll make a difference, but we'll have to see as this one's still pretty close here with a minute and 50 to go. The Bobcats have cut it to nine. So Trey got to make sure not to let this one slip away. He is going to find McCollum to lay that one in, bringing it back to double digits. Minute and a half left, so if the Bobcats are going to do anything, they are going to have to work quick, and that's not going to help. Al Jefferson gets stripped, pass up to Trey. Let's slow this one down. Got a little wide open shot here. We're going to take that, hitting that one. So we're at 18 and 13, and that would be the dagger. We win 111 to 96. So, here's the update. Coach was ready to put you in for the next game, but I told him not to rush it. I want to see a few more games, make sure you're ready. Wow, well this is the straw that broke the camel's back. He's trying to keep me out of the starting lineup? No way. Seriously? Yo, why are you blocking me? I mean, what'd you even draft me for if you're just going to keep holding me back? It's not personal. I've seen plenty of young guys let it get to their heads with too much responsibility too soon. And you know what? I'm starting to feel like maybe that's a genuine concern with you. What? <laughs> Yo, that? My man, that is crazy. Okay? I know you've been watching our games. I've been balling lately. I'm ready to start. Even coach thinks I'm ready to start. Yo, what do I have to do to get you to put me in that starting lineup? You're just not quite ready yet. But look, you keep up this level of play, you're going to force our hands sooner or later. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, you got to tone it down. <laughs> you're not doing yourself any favors. Yo, that's just me being me, okay? There's a time and a place for it. You got to learn when that is. Whatever, man. I just hope I see my name in that starting lineup soon. Just keep playing your game, all right? When it happens, it'll happen. 
Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of our players. So, how are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? This is perfect timing after he just screws us like that, holding us out of the starting lineup. It is time to ask for a trade. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I'm done here. I want to be traded. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Look, I'm going to take this request seriously. But before I make anything official, I want you to take a couple of days and think about whether or not this is something you really want to do. I mean, that ain't going to change my mind, but if it makes you feel better... All right. All right. Look, I hope it doesn't come to this, but I'll make a few calls and see what the market's like. Let's talk again in a few days. All right. I'll see you then. So, that took a bit of a turn for the worse. We'll talk about that a little more in a second. Next up, we're going to be playing the Portland Trailblazers. Very good team, second in the West. And here we are back in Sacramento. We are down big here in the second half. It was actually pretty close in the first half. I think we went into half down about 12. But when we got subbed in in the third, Portland had pulled away a little bit. But it was a fairly slow, boring first half. And the second half does pick up a bunch and is pretty exciting. But to talk a little bit more about that in between the game's cutscenes, I could not believe that the GM holding us out of the starting lineup that was almost just the perfect, the last little push that we needed to get over the edge and officially confirm that we needed to get the heck out of Sacramento. And then if we needed any other reason not to, it was perfect timing that immediately following that cutscene, we get the cutscene where the GM asks how things are going and we can ask for a trade. So immediately got to ask for that trade is here. The nice steal by Trey Cash, and he is going to take this one down, slamming it home with a nice little pump fake jam. But, yes, it is time to get out of Sacramento. I know the season is still pretty young. Well, we're in the second month of the season. We are actually pretty far into it, but it is a rookie year. But the, it's just not working in Sacramento. As here, DeMarcus Cousins is going to foul out with 45 seconds left in the third quarter. So he had a bit of a foul problem, but you're going to see another one a little bit later on. As here, Trey Cash getting another and one. We got random game clip recording. Don't know why that randomly does that. So we convert the N1, and we have brought it down to 11 points. And here, Solomon's hitting the three. He is going to cut it to 10. As we have eight minutes to go, we are kind of back in this one. Let's see if the defense can hold it. Batum kicking it out to Wesley Matthews, and he hits the three. So back up to 13. It's now 15. We lose Lillard there. He stops and pops the three. And just like that, on an 8-0 run, it's back to 18 points. So... Just as quickly as we were in it, we are now back out of this game. We're going to kick it back out to Solomon Zoe, hit another three. So, as we see these Kings play in the Trail Blazers, as we're going to miss here, and that's what I was just mentioning a second ago, Carl Landry fouls out with five and a half minutes left in the fourth, so I'm pretty sure we do not have any more big men, as I think Thompson is our last big man. I think Solomon's is playing the four at this point. I don't know. This is just the sadness of the Kings. So this might be the last game we see Trey Cash in a Kings uniform. The third game is going to be against the Magic. But here, haven't even been paying attention. Trey Cash shooting for 50 points, and he hits it. We started the third quarter with 12 points. We explode in the second half. What a performance by Trey, but we lose 114 to 106. Well, it's been a few days, so where do things stand now? Still want to be traded? Because remember, if we go down this road... There's no turning back. There's no turning back. That is okay with me. The Kings, bad team. There's really nothing else that can be done here. We want out of Sacramento, and we want to request a trade. Send me somewhere else. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready to get out of here. All right. I'll see what I can do. But you need to know I'm not going to make a move just for the sake of making a move. I need to ensure it's in the best interest of this organization. I can't promise anything, but why don't you let me know what teams you're interested in. All right, so we have a chance to pick who we want to go to. Here is who is interested in. It's the Houston Rockets, which is very nice. The Rockets was the team I picked to 
before the draft to get drafted by. We got the Heat interested interested in us. Awesome as well. And then there's a, quite a lot of other teams. I did check the standings before going through this, so I kind of have an idea of the teams that are doing well. I'm going to pick the Rockets. Of course, going to pick the Heat. And then for the last team, I'm not really sure. I'd really like to go to the Rockets or the Heat. Uh, there are a lot of other options, but I think I'm going to end up going with the Pacers. They are third or fourth in their division at 500, but the East is a pretty soft conference, and they have a very solid team with Hibbert and Paul George. So that's the three we're going to go with. If I can find something that makes sense, you'll get your wish. Just make it happen. Thanks. All right, so there you have it as here one more game as we actually win 116 to 104 so we win two of the three games we go for 21 and 11 so a solid set of games for Trey but the more important story here we have requested a trade and we should find out in the next video where we will be traded to could it possibly be the Pacers could we play our old team in the second game of the next video we will see could be the heat could be the Rockets we will find out next time but that is going to be it for this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and give it a like I would really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make as always thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time